This video is on solving systems of linear inequalities. And the way that we solve systems of linear inequalities, well, let me back up real quick. A system is two or more linear inequalities. And when you're solving a system, what you're looking for are x, y values that are solutions to both of the inequalities. All right, so the way that we do this is by graphing the two linear inequalities and seeing where their graphs cross. So I think the easiest thing is to just do an example and show you. So this first one is in slope intercept form. All right, so I'm assuming you've already encountered slope intercept form before. And so the coefficient of x is the slope. So the slope of this line is 2, and I'm going to write that as 2 over 1 because I'm going to do rise over run when I graph it. And the y-intercept is negative 3. So slope-intercept form is plus b, so if you have a minus sign here, that means the y-intercept was negative. So to graph this, what I do is go to negative 3 on the y-axis because that's the y-intercept. I put a point there. And then from that point, I rise to run one. This line leans to the right. So I'm going to go up to and to the right one. And then previously, hopefully you've already graphed linear inequalities before. So if there is not a line underneath the inequality symbol, meaning or equal to, then you use a dashed line. So we're going to graph this with a dashed line. Two. Just extend this. All right. Should probably extend this one all the way also. And then the other piece with um, linear inequalities is that you have to shade either above the line or below the line. And so since this is less than, we're going to shade below the line. The other way you can determine which way to shade is to plug in a point on the line and see if that point's a solution. So I could plug in 0, 0. I would end up with 0 is less than negative 3. That's not true. So I know that 0, 0 is not a, a solution to the linear inequality. So the solutions are on the bottom side of the line. And so I'm just going to draw lines like this. And that just means that all of the solutions to that linear inequality are over here. Now we're going to graph the next line. The next line is in standard form. So it's is AX plus BY and C. And the way that you graph in standard form is by finding the X and the Y intercepts. So the x-intercept occurs where y is 0. So if I cover up the y, 2x greater than or equal to 2. So x is greater than or equal to 1. That's the x-intercept. So I can go ahead and put a dot on the x-axis at 1. And then to find the y-intercept, that occurs where the x value is 0. So the y-intercept is at 2 y greater than or equal to 2, and that's the y-intercept. This one is or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. Extend it out the way. All right, I'm going to have to figure out which side to shade on. So I'm going to plug in 0, 0. 0, 0 is a solution. I'll shade on this side of the line. If 0, 0 is not, I'll shade on the other side of the line. All right, so when I plug in 0, 0 to this, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 2. And that is not true. So 0, 0 is not a solution. 
So I'm going to shade above the line. And again, I'm just going to draw lines like this. What I'm looking for is where these two graphs coincide. So where do I have both red and blue? So let me highlight the area so that you can see it. So here and here. So this is the solution to the system, this highlighted area. This is where the graphs overlap. And so what that means is I can pick any XY ordered pair in the shaded region, plug it into both of these inequalities, and they both will be true. That's only true in this area that I've highlighted. So where I've highlighted, those are the solutions to both of these inequalities. All right, so let's look at another one. So again, the first one is intercept form mx plus b. So the slope is negative 1. Again, I'm going to use negative 1 over 1. It's negative, so this is going to lean to the left. And the y-intercept is 5. So let's graph the y-intercept. And then rise 1, run 1 to the left because it's a negative slope. This one is a solid line because it's or equal to so solid line extended all right now shade either above or below so if i plug in zero zero i get zero is greater than five that's not true, so I'm going to shade above the line because zero, zero is not a solution. So I'm shading on this side of the line. Again, I'm looking for where these two inequalities are going to overlap. The next one's in standard form. Let me come back over here and square. So to find the x-intercept, I cover up the y. Negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 4. So since this came out, Since this came out to a fraction, this is going to come out to x is less than or equal to 4 thirds. So since that happened, let's put this in slope intercept form. So to put it in slope intercept form, I would add 3x to both sides. I'd have y is less than or equal to 3x minus 4. So that's another option with standard form, is to put it in slope-intercept form. And so now I can see that the slope is 3, the coefficient of x, and the y-intercept is negative 4. So it crosses the y-axis at negative 4. Slope is positive 3. So I rise 3, run 1. 1, 2, 3, run 1 to the right. This one is also a solid line. Three over one, extend it the other way. All right, now I just got to decide which way to shade. So plug in zero, zero, and you would get zero is less than negative four. That's true. So I'm plugging it into the original one. This is just easier. Zero, zero. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 is less than or equal to negative 4 is true. So that 
solutions of a shade this way because zero zero is a solution. And so the part where they overlap is just this very small piece over here. So let me highlight that. So right in this little corner here. So that means that any XY ordered pair in this section will be a solution to both of the inequalities. And points on the line are also solutions because the lines are solid. So any point on the line or in this little area will be a solution to both of these. All right? So that's solving systems of linear inequalities. Hopefully that was helpful and useful to you. If so, give it a like and a subscribe. And feel free to leave me a comment. Until next time.